What sort of a mindset would lay siege to 8 million people with 900,000 troops? Women, children, sick people, locked in as animals. Of what I know of England, if 8 million animals were locked in, the RSPCA would have made a lot of noise about it. These are human beings. <laughs> what is going to happen when the curfew is lifted will be a bloodbath. The people will come out. There are 900,000 troops there. These 900,000 troops, what are they going to do when, the demo, when they come out? There will be a bloodbath. Mr. President, has anyone thought that what happens when there is a bloodbath? And we will fight. And when, and when, and when, and when a nuclear armed country fights to the end, it will have consequences far beyond the borders. It will have consequences for the world, which is why I repeat I'm here. Because I'm warning you, it's not a threat. It's a fair worry that where are we headed? And it is, I've come here to tell the UN, you've got to, this is a test for the United Nations. You are the one who guaranteed the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. <laughs> this is the time to take action. And number one action must be that India must lift this inhuman curfew, which has lasted for 55 days. <laughs> the world community must give the people of Kashmir the right of self-determination. Thank you.